Hey guys, welcome to the third video of my series on introduction to NumPy and in the last video we got a brief introduction of what are NumPy arrays and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create arrays um, in detail. So we are going to go through various ways of creating arrays in NumPy one by one. So the first way which we have already seen in the last video is that if you already have um, a kind of a list like this one two three and let's say something like this a nested list then you can directly convert it to a numpy array by doing something like np dot array in which you pass your my list right so let me first import numpy as np and now we get our array so this is the um, this is a basic way that if you've given any kind of list or a tuple object then you can directly convert it to um, a numpy array by passing it to the np dot array function now let us come to the second thing which is let's say you do not already have any kind of list or a tuple and you have something like a situation like create a new um, numpy array containing all zeros right so what you can do in that case is that there is a shortcut which is let me call awr equal to np dot zeros so zeros is a function in which all you have to do is pass the size of the numpy array that you want so let's say i want a 4 cross 4 numpy array then I can just simply do this, do it like this. And now a double R is a numpy array filled with all zeros. And as you can see that um, the data type that has been assumed here is actually float. So you can just override that by doing D type equal to int. And now array will be of all integers. Okay. So NP dot zeros is this. And similarly, we have something called NP dot ones. Um, np dot once which works the same way the syntax is same let's say you want to make a 3 cross 2 array which contains only ones then you can do something like this but these are some special shortcuts for only 0 and 1 what if you want to create a new numpy array containing only 6s so what you can do in that case is that you have to do np dot full in which first of all you have to put the element that you want to keep at each place in your numpy array and then the shape of your numpy array let's say 3 cross 3 so okay so first of all you have to give the shape and then the element that you want to repeat so it is like this np dot full 3 3, 3 cross 3 numpy array containing all sixes so this is np dot full and uh, what if you want to have a numpy array containing all random numbers in the range 0 to 1 then in that case again you can do something like this np dot random dot random in which you will have to pass the size of the numpy array and lastly in this category it is np dot random dot random in case you want the random integers um, then you can do this you will have to do low high and the size so you will have to pass the range in which you want the random integers to be there let's say 1 to 10 and let's say i want an array of size 3 cross 3 so we get something like this right so these are some of the ways in which you can create a new array with some placeholder content some um, elements that you have not written anywhere specifically and you just want to create an array just by specifying what you want to have in each place of your array so this is the second case and lastly there is something called um, what if you want to create a sequence so what if you want to create a sequence of numbers so one way of doing that is you can simply do um, let's say I want to make a one dimensional array of first 10 um, whole numbers so what I can do is I can simply do range 10 list of range 10 right so this gives me all this sequence and then I can pass it to np dot array so so this is how you can create an array of a sequence of numbers but a much faster way of doing the same thing is np.a range in which you can pass 10 and you get the same thing okay so np.a range is a shortcut function but also one difference between the simple range and the np.a range is that simple range function cannot take the steps of um, float values so let's say i want the numbers between 1 to 10 with steps of 0 
you try to run that you will not get that because in the python range function you need to have the steps to be add integer but now here um, in np dot a range what you can do is np dot a range if you pass 1 10 and 0 0.5 it is actually allowed and you will get the desired result so this is the reason why np dot a range works better as compared to range in terms of using it with numpy and now let's consider a case when I give you a situation where I say that uh, between 1 to 100 um, give me 1000 equally spaced numbers or let me make it simple between 1 to 10 give me 20 equally spaced numbers so what you can do is that you can try to find the step by doing some kind of maths and then using np.a range with putting the required step value but a better way of doing that is np.l in space and then you pass let's say between 1 to 10 um, all I want 20 elements so you can just do it like this and you will get 20 elements equally spaced from 1 to 10 so this is how np.l in space works so in this video I gave you all the different ways in which you can create arrays in Python uh, using numpy and yeah that's all about it so if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below and that's it from this video Thanks for watching.